if you'd invested in proper charging equipment and, and maybe extra solar panels or whatever mm -hmm. to optimize the life of the batteries, it would have paid for itself in essence in extended battery life. Hello and welcome to our Boat How To Ask The Expert series here at YouTube. Uh, we're Nigel and Jan and we answer your questions about boat electrical systems. So let's look at today's question. I keep my boat on a mooring. I have two 100 amp hours AGM batteries charged by the alternator on the engine when we are on board and two solar panels wired to a common voltage regulator when we are not. The batteries have never been deeply discharged. They are now eight years old and appear to be fine. Should I replace them? Well, first of all, congratulations, because <laughs> most batteries don't last eight years. What, what that tells us, actually, is that uh, these batteries are being very well maintained. Yeah. The, the boat obviously is not used a whole lot, it's on the mooring much of the time. Those solar panels probably have uh, an appropriate charging algorithm yeah. for the batteries, and essentially the batteries are getting floated yeah. for most of their life. In essence, this is a standby application. Yeah. And in standby situations, a good uh, AGM battery should last 10, 15 years, maybe even 20 years. So, so conceivably, the batteries have uh, significant life left in them. Yeah. I mean, maybe six, eight, 10 years in theory. Yeah. In practice, um, I would say they're getting slightly questionable. If all that's being done is like local coastal cruising, they're not going to suddenly fail catastrophically yeah. and leave you in trouble. So you could afford to just keep using them until they really start to show some signs of age and then replace them. But if an extended cruise is contemplated, uh, then I would either find a way to do a full capacity test, mm -hmm. um, which does take a certain amount of time and equipment, and which we cover in our boat how-to courses, or else I would replace them. Yeah. This shows also that if you properly treat your batteries and don't discharge them too much regularly, or basically mm -hmm. have them permanently floating on, a, on the right voltage, yeah, I mean, they last for a long time. Huh? Yes. And, and if you put that into perspective and, and say, okay, I want to have instead like a lithium installation on a boat like this, yeah. it will probably never pay off. No. Yeah. And actually, I, I tell people when I do um, classes, one of the opening statements I make, if they have batteries on the boat that are not at least five years old and mm -hmm. ideally going on 10 years old, yeah. Uh, they're not treating their batteries right. Yeah. If they have to change them in under five to ten years, they're not treating them right. Any quality battery should last five to ten years, and if it doesn't, there's something wrong with the boat electrical system. Yeah. On my old boat, I had Victron uh, gel cells, and they lasted six years, and I didn't notice any difference after six years, yeah. so they were doing just fine. But they were also basically daily brought to a full charge with the solar systems. I think if you do that, and if you don't discharge them more than 30 or 40 percent, pretty much yeah, good yeah. to go. Uh, they last for yeah, a, long a long time. Then that brings us to our Boat Electrics 101 course where we talk a lot about how to properly maintain and treat your batteries and um, charging algorithms and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, it's a nice example of batteries well treated. You when don't you, see that so often. <laughs> when you get the larger battery banks, I mean, we see lots of boats with four 200 amp hour batteries on them. Um, that's a two, three, thousand dollar even a lead acid battery bank if you're only getting three years out of them where you should get six that's an extra two or three thousand dollars you've just spent if you'd invested in proper charging equipment and, and maybe extra solar panels or whatever to optimize the life of the batteries it would have paid for itself in essence in extended battery life i mean there's smart ways to go about mm -hmm. it yeah. <laughs> all right well check us out at boat how to and uh, we hope to see you soon